Welcome back to the Turkish Eagle run, where we will invade the Byzantines this episode. Yes, we're going to try to invade the Byzantines. I think that's going to be a good goal for this episode because we got to get close to forming the Rum Empire and we need to start accepting the Greek culture. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if this is the first episode you're watching, there'll be a link in the description for the playlist or in the top right hand corner. Okay, let's see. We can declare war. We can declare war on the Byzantines right away. Oh no, we can't. We just declared war on them. That's right. We have to wait. I kind of want to do duchy wars against them because I don't want to waste. We could do invade kingdom. Oh, this is the war we really want. How, what do we need for this? Exalted among men. Keep laying low. Yeah, keep laying low. We lost progress. Oh, okay. Feels bad. That's our guy in India trying to uh, get us a good weapon. Okay, so actually, I think what would be better is to invade a kingdom. We need exalted among men, so we need to get our uh, prestige up. So let's go on a hunt to get start working on our prestige, getting that up. And then maybe we can take some of these territories down here. Um, I will tend to them. We'll... Oh, someone's injured. That's bad. Absolute controls. Okay. They grow up so fast. That's my player error, right? Yes. Enable... Let's uh, marry him off. Oh, actually, we already married him off to my cousin. When did when did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Return home reinvigorated. Apparently, we did that at some point. I don't, I don't remember that happening. That's kind of weird. Maybe we take these two th southern places uh, to prepare for going after the Byzantines. Um, because I really don't want to do like these small wars and waste it if we can just go for the kingdom instead. So let's just keep on grabbing up more territory. We can go for war for the duchy. Let's move our troops down here. We probably could have done that before we declared war, but it's okay. Because our troops are going to be powerful enough anyways. I'm not even going to need all my troops, so let's stop raising them. Oh, we'll just siege you down. Yeah, siege, siege them down. We don't need to mess with their armies. Unless they're going after our capital. They're actually going after good land. I feel accomplished. We learned the Greek language. Nice. Yeah, let's actually stop them from sieging. Because they're sieging important places. And they thought they would get away. Which they didn't. My daughter has come of age. Nice. We could probably get a good alliance from that. Some old man will... Oh, or a five-year-old. How, how powerful are you? 10,000 troops. Or 8,000 troops. I'm gonna go with the 8,000 just because I think you're in charge of 10,000 land and I don't know how well you'll keep it. Like, I feel like you'll have civil wars. Uh, actually, why not? Let's marry this five year old and gain a powerful alliance. If they join our war, we'll definitely be able to take out the Byzantines. Enforce demands. Excellent. Nice. That's good. So now we have a super powerful alliance. But the problem is I, I feel like they're not going to last until um, we, you know, it's, he's a nine-year-old. He's going to lose his territory. There's no way. There is no way in hell he is going to be able to keep that land. Okay. A uh, faction is popping up. It's probably a liberty faction. Who is these people? Syrian, the guy I just got, um, my vassal's wounded, an infected wound, and then this guy who's up here in the north. 3,000 troops, you actually pretty powerful, my dude. And you're also a pretty good steward, so do you want to be a steward? Hmm, already a powerful vassal is being a steward, so never mind on that. Convert religion, yes, why not? Can marry. Sure, we'll get you guys married. Excellent. Disband all troops. I'm actually kind of confused how this. Fa oh, Liberty Faction's the one getting ready to go. A good Sultan visits lesser occasions. Yeah. Let's also host a party. Host a modest feast because then people are less likely to rebel against me. Welcome, friends. Is this the Liberty War? I guess the Liberty Award still happen. Uh, call allies. Yeah, call allies, defensive wars, easy peasy. 
Oh, there was someone talking about uh, they don't understand how to play Crusader Kings 3. Um, I don't know if there's like tip videos out there for Crusader Kings 3, but I, I would say I'm pretty experienced with Crusader Kings 3. So if you guys want like a tips video on how to play Crusader Kings 3, I could always make one. I just feel like there should be stuff already out there for it. Feast, Induendo, uh, yeah, repeat and hopefully the same humor we do. Nice. Y'all laugh about it. And then we get an Eager Revealer. Nice. We have so much prestige, it's not even funny. We can actually probably split up our armies here. Do you have another? Oh, uh, shoot, another. D disrespect the sacred of marriage, even though she has many times. That's our wife that keeps cheating on us. She's only cheated on us like maybe 20 times. Yeah. I don't know why I don't divorce her. But, you know, what love is blind. Or is it? Wait a minute, I probably should divorce her. I don't know why I don't. Okay, we're gonna catch, I think, just one of the armies. Nice, okay. That's good, we should f defeat them. Our, our, just our marshals alone are insane. Like our uh, knights, so. Nice. Can we just see, oh, we probably shouldn't have fought the 600 because we're gonna be in trouble. Um, who else is joining this war? Oh, over here. There's actually quite a bit of troops that they have. How many troops do they have? Oh, they have like 8,000. Dang, that's a lot. My allies, are they coming over yet? I could really use some help, allies. Oh, there they are. 10,000 troops. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this army here. We exposed the lover secret. Mmm, interesting. I think we defeat this anyways, and I think our 10,000 is going to get there in time too. Actually, if, if there's a Liberty War, I can win pretty easily. I actually love having Liberty Wars and stuff because I'm able just to imprison everyone that doesn't like me, you know. You gain the Morning Kerr Horse Ornament Artifact. Let's look at this. You gained this artifact that gives Calvary Toughness. Wow. How cool. Oh, we can unequip that for now and do hostile regime uh, schemes. There's another rep, uh, independence factions coming. And that's because I thought my ally was going to help me. But I think they may be retreating because they're in another war. Yeah. So our ally abandoned us. In our time of need. Which is not the best thing in the world. Um, that's, I wasn't really prepared for our ally just to abandon us in the middle of the war. So that is not the best thing. Oh, our mercenaries don't make it in time. Well, that puts a strain on this war, I have to say. Our allies just abandoned us. Yeah, look it. Thank you, allies. I was kind of like going with like our allies would be here in this war, but uh, I guess they just don't like us enough. All right, one of our allies is coming back. Hmm. Up, oh, someone's in my court. What's up? Uh, distress of I must put a stop. Yeah, put a stop. Spec it and just... Okay. Hold court. Hold court, my butt. I don't need to hold a court. I kind of want to fight this army because this is their main army. And if I'm able to beat it, it would be pretty good. Um... Are we going to be able to beat it? It's going to be a close battle, but I think we are just getting the advantage. And it looks like it's actually from Lucky Dice Roll. 
That was a close battle, actually. I think we won it from Lucky Dice Roll. And maybe our general. I shall pour over thoroughly and gain 500 stewardship and you will become Palaces of Beavers. Building construction down 15%? Whoa. Isn't that like a huge amount? I feel like that's a huge amount. Prestige, learning, lifestyle. Oh, we don't need that much prestige at this point. Oh, I feel like that's a ton. Chassis is debelt. Repair. We can't lose a chassis debelt. That's the best item in the game, I'm pretty sure. 100%. I wish I, the video where we got the chassis belt, I wish I would rename it best item in the game. Because, yeah, it's pretty OP. It's a pretty OP item. I think this, these guys are gonna respawn here. And, uh, can we? Mm, I think we might get fought here. Yeah, we are. I should have retreated like I initially thought. Chief, you want to know about command? Yeah, sure. I'm disappointed in and he rejected me. Well, oh, that feels bad. I think we win this Liberty War anyways. So enforce demands. I gain 28 dread and they lose. That's good to me. Prisoner and vassal. Okay. Let's look at our vassals that were going to rebel. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, you sir, where are you located at? You know your territory. Up there. Oh, we'll actually ransom you, why not? You sir, you're located up there. We'll ransom you too, you're actually not too bad. Um, this man, yeah, we'll ransom him too. He's not too bad either. Wow, all these guys are actually not that bad. They just made poor decisions. You, lady, who's Armenian though, I kind of want to revoke your title. Yeah, I'm going to revoke your title. Not because she's a woman. I just want to say, get ahead of that in the comment section. If she's a woman, it's because she didn't like me. And she's Armenian. And her being Armenian, she'd probably rebel against me. More likely than other people. So the independence faction I think is gonna go away. Yeah. Well, it won't go away, it's just won't have enough strength. So. So how are the Byzantines looking? They're not looking the best. They do have a lot more allies now. 10,000 to 20, okay. My one ally is still busy in his one war. My prisoner died. How much dread do I have? I'm at 28 dread. Do we want to kind of get dread up a little bit? Do we have any prisoners? Prisons for three months executed. Oh, we're compassionate. We'll gain too much stress. That's right. Um, let's look at anyone. In prison for 28 years. In the dungeon. We can just get rid of... Oh, he's 80 stress. What the heck? Oh, I get 80, 80 stress? Yeah, he, he's... We'll take him out. We'll, need, we'll take a little bit more dread. Uh, 13,000 troops. We're looking pretty good, actually. And we have one more vassal in jail. And he actually doesn't dislike me too much either, so... This is magnificent. He gives us the branch of tree of life. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Whoa, my lord, my announces is a rival surprising loud voice. He probably holds up a package, securely wrapped closet. I return from the artifact of Madrid, take a bulky bundle into my hands, and loosen the cords. A common looking branch of great religious value, its voice to come from nothing less than the tree of life. This is magnificent. One of a kind. That's an achievement I don't have, I'm pretty sure. Tactics. Okay. So let's look at the item. Or is it a, it's a core item? Yes. You can paste it on a pedestal. 100 years of life. Um, he placed it. It immediately disappears from being able to see. And what are the requirements? 
That's what I'm having a, a trouble. Does it say what the requirements are? You are a Serbian faith. That is hilarious. So if I was pagan, this would be a super OP item. But since I'm not a pagan faith, it's practically useless and just gives me core grandeur. That's actually kind of funny. Kind of funny, I will not lie. Let's stop this evil villain behind us. Yes, someone's trying to murder me. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Is my capital here? Okay, my capital is here. Is Syrian. We could actually probably uh, promote culture here to be the right culture because we're already good with the Armenians practically. Control, you can focus on control too. And I think that's good for now. Ransom, yeah, we'll ransom you off. Can we do another war on you? It's just that this duchy up here, just border gore, you know? Oh, this guy has so much land still. Um, there we go. We can actually get the whole entire place that we, I would want to clean up the border gore. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's clean up the border gore up here. Um, because we're not exalted among men, but we'll probably be exalted among men after this war. So that's good. So let's beat this war and then we'll be exalted among men. What is my son doing? He doesn't have any kids. His wife is a pregnant. Okay. That's fine. Yes, let's declare war. Oh, can we... We can't claim his title, but we could claim this guy's title. Oh, we could claim the title and then we get a claim on the empire, but I don't even want the empire. So that's fine. It would be kind of cool to get the empire. Um, declare war. Yeah. And we're already over here. I already raised arms. I always like sometimes forget if I did it or not. And so then I kind of like go back and forth. Okay, split up the troops. And to be honest, we also have a ton of prestige. So let's call both our allies to see if they'll help. They probably won't because they're good for nothing. Nobody's. Also, we need to get rid of this siege weapon because I think it's just confusing my troops when they split too much and not getting the right siege weapons in the right areas. But we could use... Do I have house guards in this campaign? No. There's a campaign I played recently where I got house guards and I was like, oh, where, how do I get house guards? I think we'll definitely siege this down. How are you, noble guest? You have a claim on some county. Ah, I'm no longer ill. Good. I didn't really want to die. It would have been tragic. Of course. Colorful talent. Yes, gain 10 court grandeur. Here. Now level 6 court grandeur. Nice. Well, we're about to switch this entire duchy down, which is good. Can we stop him in time? I think so. To Demir. Demir becomes my friend. Sure. Oh, and we're gonna stop him too. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna beat him up real good. Oh, the, the guy's actually in charge of that army, so maybe we'll capture him too. Um, we didn't. But you know what we might do? Go siege the capital. Because if you siege the capital, there's a chance. You know, that we'll get it. Oh, uh, we also have 13,000 troops because we have mercenaries. I forgot about that. Um, it's time for a breath of fresh air. Yeah, get a breath of fresh air. Why not? Can I have another wife? No, I, I have all my wives. And a rebellion hook. Because they, of course, get a rebellion right when... What is this? Your rival has died? I thought it was my son for a second and I was going to be super tilted. Oh, can, do we have someone really good at learning? Yeah, sure. Yeah, get the 29 learning guy. Oh, we, we lost the war? Whoa, how? What the heck? 
I've never seen an initial soldiers. We had double the troops and we lost? What the heck? What troops does they have? Holy cow. Prince grows closer to arrival. Oh, I wasn't really reading that. I should have. My troops actually lost there because they're such high quality. That's crazy. Chance of reinforcing from general traits, yes. Um, Spy Master, 29, yeah, sure. Yeah, that I can't believe we actually lost that battle. Are we gonna lose again? I feel like it had to be an unlucky dice roll. And we get a Sultan's Traversy, my lord, my daughter, just to the door, this is lovely. Nice, we go to the court again. We have so many flags, actually. Um, which one do we have displayed? National Dread plus three court grandeur. This one we're now in Dynasty Opinion and court grandeur. Let's remove that one and place the Sultan's Task Pristry. Yes, because I think we get plenty of prestige at this point. And I don't know who's in that guy's army, but they're actually pretty strong. Like the Persian's army. Request divorce. Yeah, sure, you can divorce. My son had a kid, right? My granddaughter? Quick and robust. Nice. We'll probably give you that pat. Uh, the. Oh, was that a daughter, though? That was a daughter. Okay. Because we need a son. And trying to be progressive in this game, pretty difficult. Because we need a son and we don't need a daughter. Daughter's bad. But in real life, that's fine. Yeah, let's squash his army. Yeah, his army's actually sick. Like, no joke. His army is absolutely, like, top-notch. Culture, innovations, we're working on things. We're working on them. Okay, we got the capital. Enforce demands. So be it. We just got this guy to inherit it. He's Turk oppression. Not rifle leash. That's fine. Propose an alliance. Neighboring ruler. Yeah, I accept. I'll join you in an alliance. You're actually pretty powerful. Ooh, do we go on the Byzantines in this episode? Or we're not exalted among men. Oh, we are exalted among men. Hmm. The war with the Byzantines could take a while, or we could just end it there. Yeah, I think we'll end it there in the next episode. We're going to pretty much take the territory we need to uh, complete the achievement. So we'll probably have this one and a couple more episodes. We might have only like three more episodes for the achievement and we'll be done. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out uh, the next episode on the screen now or the entire playlist or a random video. Later, have a good one. Bye.